Once again, as I was living my life, I found myself in the deep, dark holes of Twitter. And I saw this video. This video is from a while ago, but obviously it's still relevant because it was only a few months ago. Let's get into it. To date you. I'm more than me. How much money do I have to make to date you? I'm more than me. Which is? I can't tell you that, but I make, you know, a pretty good penny. Yeah. Okay. Hey. So. Well, let's stop it right there. See, I love when women say that stuff right there. I love it. It's beautiful. When women, when a girl says, you need to make more than me. And you're like, okay, how much is that? I can't tell you. Okay. So <laughs> how did the man know he makes more than you? She don't make shit. <laughs> oh, you baby. She don't make she nothing. for that baby. Oh, no. <laughs> she don't make nothing, baby. Just go ahead and tell you. When women say that, when you say, how much do you make? And she goes, oh, I can't tell you. Okay. Nothing. That's all I heard. Broke. And you know about broke women. Broke. Nah, they don't get that. <laughs> and I'm not saying she's literally broke, but she probably works at her local call center taking calls, makes uh $40,000 a year, and then says, you know, I got money. Okay, you can afford an apartment. Congratulations. And when women say make more than me, let's just go ahead and stop the cap. They mean six figures immediately. It doesn't matter what they make. They could be making $20,000 working fries at their local KFC, but they still don't ask for a man making that much money. Let's not act stupid. Stop the cap, baby. And women don't even, women don't even know what six figures means. Let's, let's stop. So, do you think that when you shake ass in the camera and stuff, like, men are going to... What the hell even prompted that? Ask yourself a question. What made her twerk in front of the camera? There was nothing being said. Her friend was simply photobombing. Photobombing. Well, video bombing, actually. You know, like she said, video bombing. And she goes, you know what? I'm going to show my ass. Like, it, and women think this is... Beautiful. See, you're going to hear how these women talk. You're going to hear how hype up they're going to hype themselves. When this man says, so you think shaking them butt cheeks is if that's what makes you like desirable outside of getting your cheeks clapped? Like, what do you think makes you like this woman that should earn or deserve so damn much, but you can't even get in front of a camera? You don't know who I am, yet you shaking your ass. Like, what makes you think that you are a woman who any man would desire to get on their knee and propose to outside of men who are simps, who will always exist? Outside of the men you don't respect, let's just call them that. Let's just forget calling them sense. Let's say men that you don't even respect. Outside of those men, what men that you will respect would be like, yeah, I, I want that. I want my girl shaking her ass in front of the camera. Let's go. Bro, and stuff like men are going to look at this and be like, you know, that's a girl who I want to make my wife. I don't give a fuck. What what I don't Thank you. That's all we needed to hear, gentlemen. In the video right now. Y'all have a good one. Y'all have a blessed night. Start the music. It's out. Just kidding. But nonetheless, that's 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 pretty much it. That's all women need to say. You know what? I don't even want to hear women explain anything past this point anymore. I think, gentlemen, that we should be able to just be like, hey, you know what? Man, why do you why do you feel like you should be able to get a man who makes why <laughs> why do you think you can be a wife doing what you just did? I don't give a fuck. Oh, okay, hey, conversation's done. Hey, boys, wrap it up. We're out of here. We're done. We're good. That's all men you need to hear. Because men, when you hear that, guess what you got to do? My favorite sound. Me, me. That's it. That's all you got to hear. Well, I'm not, I don't even need you to explain further, ma'am. Because I thank you. That's all I need to hear. So that's what we got to start doing. Ma'am, why do you feel like being a single mother is a good thing? Listen, I don't give a fuck. Oh. Hey, uh, that's all I need to hear. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Stop the presses, baby. But these, let me tell you something, baby. I was raised by my mom. You see? Right there. Right there when she said that. Right there when she said that. She already started stumbling and fumbling and bumbling. As soon as she said, I don't give a fuck, she didn't have anything after that. See, anything after that, men, it just, it's just word garbage. It's just the mumbling, bumbling, and stumbling. <laughs> something baby i was raised by my father fuck you niggas i i date one of you niggas and i keep two in the chair thank you thank you thank you so do you guys at all times fuck you niggas i don't give a fuck ma'am 
Guys, are we hearing this? That's what women really want to say. That's why I say after they say, I don't give a F, conversation's done. We're done. Okay. Because you knew what she was about to do. This man said, why would he want to be a wife? He did not say he anything derogatory towards this lady. He said, why would you think that if you were shaking your ass, men will men to make you a wife? She immediately goes into, well, F them. F all of them. I can do anything I want with them. That tells you how she already thinks about men. It's just, immediately, she already tells you what she thinks about men. Off of him saying, why would you think anybody make you a wife? She could have been like, you know what? The guy doesn't like that. I understand. You know, but this is who I am. She didn't go there. She went to immediately vitriol. Vitriol. I don't want these. Let me tell you something, baby. I was raised by my father. Fuck you, niggas. I have day one of you niggas that I keep two in the chamber. So do you- At all times. At all times. Fuck you, niggas. I don't give a fuck. Tell my wife. What you do you not want to be talking about wife? What does he say? They say you ain't wifey type, but I don't care. I want you. Be a wife one day, though? Good question. Do you not want to be a wife one day, though? When I'm old. When you shake ass, I need to know your connotation yeah, well, yeah, of wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, cause, yeah. Cause I'm a lot of niggas' wife. Okay. But I'm a lot of niggas' type. Do you have a ring? <laughs> Oh, she said, I'm a lot of ninjas tight. We ain't finding enough for no money. You get second shift at the plant. Come on, baby. I got, I got a few, plenty. You, I got plenty of rings. Bitch, I forgot to put my I'm other piggy rings up. I'm iced up. Let me put well, the light on that well, shit. Well, well, has a man of a... Let me put the ice on that shit. Yeah. Shout out to the desirable truth. Go check him out. Let's take, let's, let's reanalyze that one more time. He said, so do you think when you shake ass in the camera and stuff like men are going to look at this and be like, you know, that's a girl who I want to make my wife. I don't give a fuck. What, 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 I don't she, want these. She said that in an instant. Let me tell you something, baby. I was raised by my father. Fuck you, niggas. Is it your father proud? I have day one of you niggas that I keep two in the chamber. So do at you- all times, at all times. Fuck you, niggas. I don't give a fuck. Tell my wife. What she what you- don't you worry about that, baby girl. You'll never be one of those. You just keep living your life out there. You do you, boo. Lord help. Lord help. Oh, man. Do you not want to be a wife one day, though? question. Do you not want to be a wife one day, though? When I'm old. You when I'm old. <laughs> She said when I'm old. (laughs) What else, baby? (laughs) You get second shift at the plant. I need to know your kind of Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm a lot of niggas' wife. Okay. I'm a lot of niggas fight. Do you have a ring? I got a few. This girl didn't even know how to react to that. Y'all see that? She said, I got got a few. I got plenty. Fight. Do you have a ring? Okay. She she said, okay. Look. Okay. I'm a lot of niggas fight. Do you have a ring? No, you're not. You're not a lot of dudes type. You got butt. You got a throat. You got that pocket. That's not a lot of people's type. That just means you have what comes on most women factory right out the factory. Booty cheeks, a throat, and a pocket. I, I ain't trying to get vulgar with the people. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to tell you what it is. This is how y'all live out there, okay? Y'all out there living like circus animals. So as long as you got butt cheeks, you got a pocket, and you got a throat, men are going to come after it. They don't care who you are, what you do, how you live. Because they'll go from you to Big Betsy the next night. They'll go right to Big Betsy the next night. Because guess what Betsy has? Throat, butt cheeks, and a pocket. Okay? You know, and you ladies think you're so damn special because some man is oh, will look at you and say, damn, I would have sex with her. You think that's special, but it's not. You're a throat, a pocket, and a butt cheeks. That's it. We that's that comes on most women. Now is every guy gonna be able to do something with her? Every man can't do something with this young lady. I'm not here to say that any man can have her, but 
to say that she's special. No, 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 no. We ain't finding enough for no money. You get second shift at the plant. I'm just sick of um, women going through this route and believing that for some reason that if they can get certain men they, to have relations with, it's okay. If they can get a certain man that spent money on them, it's okay. As long as they, when women have in their head, as long as I don't give it up for free, they'll give it up. Even though they will give it up free to some men, as long as they, let's say it's like 70, 30, 70% 70 of the men that they do do something with, they had to pay 30% didn't. That's all they really care about. But at the end of the day, I just don't see why, like, having a roster. Like, and you, when you say a roster, okay, let's say women are saying I have a roster and they're not being intimate with these men. Let's say every guy that they have, 15 deep, all want to go on a date with them and just spend money on them, right? And that's it. Ma'am, does that sound like a roster that you would respect? No. You know that's not a roster because... If you were attracted to these men, you would bust it down. Let's not play games. See, when women talk about not, oh, how can you believe I'm actually being intimate with this man? Are you telling me, ma'am, that you're giving time to men you're not attracted to in that way? And she'll say, no, I only give it to men. I'm willing to thank you. So you're only going to give time to men that you would be willing to be intimate with, right? And if that is the case, that must mean that the men who are part of your roster must be men that you're attracted to in that way that you, and so therefore you got to be letting them bust you down because there's no way you could tell me if you, unless you're telling me you have a roster of men that you're not attracted to. And ma'am, that would make you a loser. Why would you consider anybody in your roster, somebody you're not even attracted to? That's not something you can brag about because that can be Billy who works on fries. He could be part of your roster. He's not attracted to you. He'll give you $20 cash app every time you need it. Ma'am, that's not a roster that you can be proud of, ma'am. That's the G League. Ma'am, that's not even the G League. That's the bench players in high school. Not that you mean, you know what I mean? Not talking about a skill level, but those are like you know, the people who aren't even going to make it to the league at all. They ain't going to the NBA. These are kids that can't even make their high school team. And you're talking about Oh, they're part of my roster. So I know women don't must not mean those men. They've got to be talking about the men up there who are men that they would be able to um uh, be intimate with and have sex with and do all this stuff with. It must be men that they're attractive enough to do that with. And that's why I don't understand why women want to cap when they talk about, I have a roster, but I'm not having sex with any men. That doesn't make any sense, ma'am. That would make you look worse. Having a roster of men that you're not attracted to makes no fucking sense. You must have a roster of men you're attracted to because then that makes the roster a nice roster, wouldn't it? What? You know what I'm saying? You want a NBA team, not the G League. You don't want to be OKC Blue where you can't name any of the players. You're at least wanting at least the Thunder. You know, you're at least wanting OKC Thunder, at least one of the teams of the 30, not OKC Blue. Am I right? Am I wrong? You're not talking about these random ass teams, the Shanghai Tigers. You're not talking about them. So women can play this cap game all they want. They can lie all they want. But at the end of the day, ma'am, you will not be a wife. Okay. And it's fine. You say you got many men who want to be your wife. You're that type. Okay. You believe that lie. It's fine. And men, hear me out when I say this. There are men who are going to go to these women. It's not like these women are just going to fall off. Even when they get to their 30s and 40s, they may keep themselves in shape. But at the end of the day, how do we judge success? To me personally, I don't care if you slept with 30, 40, 50, 60 men. I don't care if you're 40 years old and you're still getting those legs spread wide open. I don't care. What I care about is marriage. If you ain't got that man when you start cracking them 40s, you failed. Okay? Unless you're a woman who doesn't want to be married no matter what. But here's my last thing on that. For you women who think you can take pride in not getting married. Okay, and being your 40s, fine. If you want to be celibate the rest of your life, I can live with that. But for you women who are in your 40s and say you don't want to be married, but you're still getting busted down by Peter, Ricky, Josh, Jason, uh, Billy on fries, Michael, Mark, and everybody else, you're still getting busted down in your 40s. You don't earn any respect because I don't want to be married, but you're acting like you want to be. You're still getting busted down by nobodies. Ma'am, that doesn't make you respectable. It makes you one thing and one thing only. The beautiful word that I love to say, and I love saying it every single day. It comes out of my mouth. It comes with the fury and the dragon and 500 sons of flames. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But ma'am, it's disgusting. It is. 
It's disgusting. Like, it's, let's call it what it is. Women who are in their 40s getting bust down every single day is disgusting. It's gross. And there's nothing beautiful about it. I don't care what you look like. You can look like Halle Berry. It's nasty. Okay, you're supposed to be 40, possibly a mother, and you probably are a single mother at that point in your life because the man that you did have sex with wasn't good enough to be your husband. And if he was good enough to marry you, you divorce him because he wasn't good enough to be a husband. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I just am losing my mind every damn day I watch one of these videos. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. <sighs> Goodbye.